Hello, welcome to the next part of Consumer Madness, uh, aka Dead Media, where I like to talk about forgotten media such as game cartridges, um, VHS cassettes, laser discs, vinyl records, and so on. Love it. Um, especially stuff that seems to be only available in Japan, such as this look how wonderful the drawing is on that you know you're gonna make a game for the Super Nintendo um, Koei I'm sure James Rolfe would have a few things to say about this um, I mean Japan is known for its comics for God's sakes you'd think they'd be able to find somebody the kids in my school can draw better than that what? it's just awful has anybody played this game? Is it a history game? Can anybody tell me about it? Looks wonderful. I'm going to have to get myself a little portable uh, Famicom player because I don't have a analog TV anymore. I don't have a TV for that matter. Um, but it would be nice to play these games even just for a bit. Let's see. Um, I'll specialize with games that I've only seen in Japan but just briefly I'll just mention uh, these games here, Super Mario World, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2, all of these Super Famicom games, um, I actually found in the street, uh, it was just in a sort of discarded side of the road, um, unbelievable, but the best thing about it was that I found this, for all you Famicom, Super Famicom friends, uh, fans, and Nintendo fans, check this out. NTT Data, which is a uh, Japanese telephone company. Presumably, you can make, uh, well, you can call people through your Super Nintendo in the sense that you could play against people over the telephone line. Be interesting to know how well that worked. Um, I don't know many gamers, to be honest, um, if at all, but uh, I will certainly ask. But um, yeah, my Japanese gaming friends, if if you exist, please let me know um, down in the comments. Have you ever tried this? That's uh, page back, page forward. I guess that's um, reset there. But isn't it fantastic? It just looks so good. Um, yep, that's the game pad of the future, folks. Nice. Moving on. There's uh, Galaxian. Of course, you could get this in other countries, but I just, uh, I just love the game, so I wanted to mention it in the box. Let's see if there's anything going on. Let's see. Um, Japanese cartridge size, obviously. If you're hunting for any of these games and you're having difficulty finding them, please let me know and I'll I'll see what I can do to help you out. Nice uh, two-color. I love limited color instructions and designs and things like this. Nice. It's all 8 bit goodness. There we go. Right, so not exclusive to Japan, but I uh, do love that game. Devil World. I think I did try playing this, but I think there was a glitch in it, so I had to give up. Um, let us know what you think of that. Doraemon, um, when was this made? 1986, Hudson Soft, uh, great computer game company. Um, yeah, I'll have to, uh, if I can get one of those portable things, I could make a video playing it, couldn't I? Here, that'd be good. J.R.A. Pat, which I presume is Japanese something... Ah, uh, Japanese Racing Association. Pat? I'm not sure what the Pat means. Patrol. Um, 
great. Not often you see a dark grey Super Nintendo cartridge, but um, says me, the the uh, the big gamer here. I don't play games anymore, so what do I know? Let's see, Super Mario Collection. Well, that's not Crayon Shinchan. Um, famous now, but wasn't famous in the West in 1993. I didn't know he went far back as that. Um, sad to hear about the how he died. The uh, did you hear how the creator died? Died. I think he fell off a cliff on a hiking expedition or something. Um, haven't played this yet, so. I'll let you know when I do. <laughs> um, Hook. Oh, well, that's not exclusive, but I do like that game. Um, this is some kind of... Uh, if memory serves, I think this was like some sort of weird wrestling... Funny comedy wrestling game with all the Bandai characters here. Mask Rider, Ultraman characters, Gundam, of course. The, in a sumo um, garb, there's... Bizarre stuff. Gallagher, of course, my favourite game of all time. Get that from anywhere, though. Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, you've got to watch James Rolf, James Rolf's <laughs> or Angry Video Game Nerds review of that. It's fantastic. Go check that out. This is funny. Mystery of Convoy. Convoy, of course, is the the original Japanese name. Um. Now, I say original, but what is the deal with Transformers? Is it, uh, it's a Japanese creation, isn't it? Or was it, I forget how it works, but, um, I'm not even going to bother researching that. I can't be bothered. 1986. Love this, this logo here. What's going on there? Takara. Nice. Bizarre. Um, who made this? Oh, Takara, of course. Um, here we go. And Transformer fans, what on earth is this robot? Is it a dinosaur? Is it a... What is that up there? Looks good anyway. Looks nice. Um, Castle Quest. Was this available in the West? I don't remember Castle Quest, but I... I'm loving the graphics on it and the red cartridge. It's always nice to have a color cartridge. The uh, quest for Atlantis, the adventure of Atlantis, who knows, or just Atlantis. But who, what kid doesn't want to be this yellow Indiana Jones character throwing dynamite at mermen and scorpions? Uh, it just doesn't get any better than that, does it? From Sunsoft, very good. Venus Wars, the computer game. This was, um, Venus Wars was the very first manga video I ever bought. And uh, not many people like it, but I really liked it. Thought there was some nice mecha designs in there. Good stuff. I'm really sounding like a nerd now. Um, let's see. Now this has got to be the same artist as Gegege no Kitaro. Let's see what it... Um, hmm. Let's see. What does that say? Akai no Wana. I don't know. Um... Yeah, it is the same guy, isn't it? But, uh, look at that monster. That'd be Dracula, Batcat, and an elephant guard with... Is that a hat on his head or something else? Let's move on. Itadeki Street. Um, a restaurant game? A cooking game? Who knows? But it's interesting. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, this is bizarre. Mickey Mouse in Wonderland. Alice's Wonderland. Um, let's look at the copyright here. Characters, 1987, the Walt Disney Company. Hudson Soft. Um, yeah, I remember playing this uh, when I had an, picked up a, a cheap Famicom emulator thing. Um... I think there's a glitch in this mich in this game, and I couldn't get past a certain point. But uh, if you've ever played this, 
I'd love to know your opinion on it, but uh, it just it's just so odd. I just had to have that. Um, Star Wars, the the Japanese version. Um, according to Mr. James Rolfe, uh, again, um, you need to watch the review of his Star Wars games. Fantastic. I've always wanted to play all the Star Wars games, but that'll never gonna. That's not gonna happen. But uh, did play this. It's okay, but um, yeah, but this was not available uh, in the West. There was a different version available, um, but some some nice touches on it. But check out his review of it. He does a very good video of it. It's very entertaining and informative if you're a fan. Wonderful stuff. I thoroughly recommend it. Um, one of these things I just had to have because I'm a fan of the thing, much like the Star Wars. Don't care about actually playing the game, but it's just nice to have this oddity. Akira, the computer game from Taito. Um, that's the exposition shot there. Um, not really much of a game, but uh, it's alright. Bizarre packaging what usually comes in a um, usually what you get is just a small cardboard box they've given the sort of not quite a VHS size box here but the strange thing is it just rattles around I don't know whether that's that's because it's broken or but if you look inside it doesn't appear to be anything that holds the game in place um, and these things matter, goddammit. These are life or death important things. Let's have a look. Oh, this is the questionnaire. I wonder what would happen if I filled this out and sent it now. Not a lot, I suppose, but it'd be interesting. Maybe I'll get a free badge or something. Um, still, in good condition. I'm looking quite good. It's just nice to have a bit of Akira nostalgic thing. Psychic adventure game. Fantastic. And last but not least, my favourite of my dead media games. Nuts and Milk. That's right, folks. Nuts and Milk. Now, I'm not saying this was not available in the West, but I just had to talk about this. Um, number one, I've never played this game before. She says, help. I don't know about you, but I can't see any danger in this picture at all. Not understanding the uh, the jeopardy involved here. A large banana. An apple. Hearts. She seems to be in love with this character, and yet she's saying, help. There's a helicopter and a blimp. Um, and I'm not seeing any nuts, not seeing any milk. But uh, I'm sure that'll become obvious when I look on the back, or the side, or well, yeah, be inside, or on the on the nut, nuts and milk. It'll be in here probably. Um, let's see. There's got to be a picture of a nut somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I see. So the character's name is Milk, and he's pink. And his girlfriend is yogurt, which is short for yogurt. Yogurt. Um, Milk's girlfriend. Okay, he's the main character. And then there's nuts. Uh, oh, I didn't notice that before. Milk no rival. Um, Milk's rival. Okay, I thought it was like uh, I looked at the box. I just figured it was his, like, brother or his friend or his younger nephew or... It's his rival. Okay, so... They like bananas and apples and, uh... They don't like helicopters and blimps, I think. Um... Well, you can move all, all manner of ways. There's 
rolling, there's jumping, there's jumping, there's apples and helicopters, um, and they're called nuts and milk. I see. So, that must be the obvious thing in Japan. We would say rubber and glue, and they'd say nuts and milk. Um, but, you know, a chocolate nut bar and a glass of milk would be quite nice, I'd say. Oh, what do I know? Anyway, nuts and milk. That's fantastic. Anyway, somebody's at the door. I'll see you later.